At Forschungszentrum Jülich, Europe's fastest computers work in the service of science. The enormous computing power of these modern supercomputers makes it possible for researchers to tackle complex issues in the field of material science, investigate processes inside cells, create compute-intensive climate models, and get to the bottom of the way the human brain works. Understanding the human brain is one of the major challenges of the 21st century. If we understand the brain, we may also understand what makes us human. We may heal diseases of the brain or even be able to use the structure of the brain in a computer to do information processing. The most important tool for brain research is the supercomputer Uqueen. Almost half a million processor cores work away in the racks. Together they perform about six quadrillion arithmetic operations per second, which is as fast as 100,000 modern PCs. In order to optimize computer simulations for such supercomputers, neuroscientists, medical scientists, computer scientists, mathematicians and physicists collaborate intensively at the new Simulation Laboratory in Neuroscience, headed by Professor Abigail Morrison. We are a unit that does partially research and partially support. So we develop highly scalable software for neuroscientific applications, in particular simulation software. But we can also help neuroscientists with their uh, research ideas, if they have some software that they would like to bring onto the big machines, then we can help them with that. Basically, any, anywhere that there's a, uh, a connection between neuroscience and HPC, we're the right people to talk to. Even today, high-performance computing, HPC, provides scientists with impressive insights into the human brain. By simulating brain activity, scientists obtain new insights into highly complex matters. For example, regarding the causes of neurodegenerative diseases, such as Parkinson's and dementia. As yet, it is only possible to simulate small parts of these processes. However, scientists intend to go a step further in the European Human Brain Project, in which Jülich plays a leading role. In the future, we aim to simulate the whole brain. To reach this goal, we will need machines that are more than a thousand times more powerful than you queen. As a comparison, a model mapping the entire human brain cell by cell on a computer would require about 100 petabytes. This is equivalent to the capacity of 100,000 hard drives. Even the fastest computers in the world with a capacity of one or two petabytes are unequal to this enormous volume of data. The experts at the Jülich Supercomputing Center have therefore already set their sights on the next generation of supercomputers, the Exascale class. In our Exascale labs that we are running together with renowned hardware and software companies like IBM Germany, Intel, Nvidia, as well as some German partners like Partec in Munich or Extol in Mannheim. We work together to realize the technology of the future of the Human Brain Project. The idea is to get a memory density per compute core that is at least a factor of 10 to 20 higher than today's technology and to be able to work interactively with big supercomputers, like as you would work on a small laptop. That is to say, a supercomputer powerful enough to analyze the enormous data sets in real time, and which would also permit scientists to intervene in the processes during computations to move through the complex structure as required. The Jülich supercomputers are being continuously enhanced and optimized for these and other tasks. And unlike humans, the machine never tires. Supercomputers thus work day and night, 365 days a year, in the service of science. Mm -hmm.